well, welcome to Chrome. So here's what you need to know about Chrome or some good to knows about Chrome. Um, when you open up a new tab, so that plus sign here and you have a new tab without having searched for a particular website, you will see your bookmarks bar. How do you make a bookmark? You may have done it accidentally. Control or Command D on your keyboard does make a bookmark if you're looking for a keyboard shortcut. But there's also this little star up here. This star will bookmark a page. And when you bookmark a page, what happens is it asks you where you want that bookmark to go. You can choose anywhere and we can manage it after. It doesn't matter, but your bookmarks bar is that bar that you see at the very top. So this is where you want to have all of your quick access information. You can choose other folders. So I have an other bookmarks folder or you can create a new folder. So for example, if you're out in the world looking for space uh, websites or websites that will support your exploration of space, you might wanna create a new folder and call that new folder space. So it doesn't matter what it's called, you can always rename it, but that is a way that you can organize yourself. If you're looking to manage your bookmarks, the dot, 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 which is your snowman or your caterpillar or dot, 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 I'm gonna call it the snowman. When you click on the dot, 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 there is the bookmarks option. I'm going to click on bookmarks and I'm going to manage my bookmark. So I'm gonna to go to my bookmark manager. This opens up a new page. So here we are at my bookmarks manager. So my bookmarks bar, and then all of the stuff that's in my bookmarks bar, more than can fit, by the way, and then all my other bookmarks. So if I want to organize something, let's say that there's this dynamic learning project, I want to edit this to make it a little bit shorter to see if I can actually fit it in my bookmarks bar. Again, your snowman, when you click on that, you can edit something. And instead of calling it the dynamic learning project, I might want to call it DLP and save that. And here it is in my bookmarks bar as a as DLP. If I open up a new tab, we'll see, oh, look, it fits. Awesome. So it's now in my bookmarks bar. If there are more bookmarks that I have put in my bar that do not fit this arrow arrow here will give me all of those different pieces. So I have access to all of those pieces that I have put in my bookmarks bar here. Going back to my manager, if I want to remove something, I can remove something and add it to another another folder if I want to add it to another folder. So that's a click, a drag, and then a drop. And then it's gone from one place and is moved to a different place. If I want to delete it entirely, I can click on it, press delete, and it's gone. Now, hopefully I remember what that is in case I need it again. Okay, I'm gonna undo. Um, so that is your bookmark manager. Now I'm gonna show you a fast and quick way that you can search Google or use Google to help search you, search uh, some, uh, you, uh, yeah, yeah. anyways, let me show you. So I'm gonna click, click, click the dot, 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 the snowman again, and here we go. I'm going to go into my settings. In my settings, and this is great to explore, I suggest that you explore these settings. It's always good to know what you can and cannot do. I'm gonna click on search engine though, and then I'm going to manage search engines. So I might wanna have something that is particular to me. So as an example, I can go into my Omnibar, which is what this is called here. I'm gonna just click on Google on my, this tab here. I'm gonna to go to my Omnibar, and I'm gonna type in the word drive, and it's gonna take me directly to my Google Drive. So I have created a search engine for my Omnibar to take me exactly where I want it to go. So perhaps I'm really, really interested in CBC. So I'm gonna search for CBC Vancouver and it's going to take me to a Google search. And here it is, uh, British Columbia CBC News. Okay, great. So maybe what I need to do is I need to get to this page really quickly. So I'm just gonna copy this URL and I'm gonna go back into that settings, that search engine, manage search engines, and I'm gonna create a new search engine. I know, wild. I'm gonna say add, and I'm gonna call this search engine CBC, and my keyword is gonna be CBC, and here is my address. I'm going to add that in, and now when I go to a new tab, so I'm gonna make a new tab, when I go to a new tab and I just type in CBC, it's gonna take me to the exact place that I wanna go. You can do this for any website. If there's a particular application you need, if there is a particular place that you wanna go, you can just find that URL and then put that into your settings. Again, search engine and manage your search engines and then add and then type in that information there and give it a good test and then you're done. Okay, so that's for July 7th, that's what we did. Um, not five minutes, it's more like 10 minutes, but whatever, I uh, hope you guys are good. We'll see you next week.